And that was Christmas Eve, Sarajevo by Sabotage off of Dead Winter Dead. And that's become sort of a Christmas heavy metal staple. It's been incorporated over and over into the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and their shows and what you hear on the radio. And it's sort of funny that this song even gets played occasionally in church. And I wonder if the people listening to this song in church as a nice little upbeat version of Carol of the Bells, if they, what, what would they think if they knew that the band playing it used to release songs about the hounds of hell and things like that? That would be, be funny, but shh, don't tell anyone. Before that, you heard Under the Ice by Blind Guardian off of A Night at the Opera. And for the moment, that wraps up Mostly Metal. It's 9.30, and that means it's time for the Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program. And welcome to the year-end edition of the Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program. As is the case on the second and fourth Sundays of each month, the show Mostly Metal, which normally runs 8-10, is truncated a little bit at 9-30 so that I can entertain myself and hopefully pass on some information regarding one of my other Uh, passions and hobbies and things I spend way too much time and money on, and that is wrestling. And in particular, I like to give information uh, out about what's going on locally. So this is not about the national wrestling scene, Uh, although once in a while maybe we'll mention WWE or, uh, you know, TNA or whatever it is. But mostly it's about the local wrestling scene. And this is the year-end edition. And so what I'd like to do is run down sort of the the state of some of the wrestling groups that operate in this area or nearby this area. So in northwest or northern, north-central Indiana, there's a lot of them. And I'll tell you who the current champions are. And then at the end of this rundown, talk about what shows are coming up after the start of the new year and other ways you can keep in touch and keep in the loop with some of the information that I try to pass around. So as we think about Northwest Indiana wrestling and think about the fact that this show is coming from Valparaiso, Indiana, there is a group that runs shows fairly regularly in Valparaiso at Inman's Recreation Center, and that is Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling. Uh, They run shows at Inman's Oh, about every three or four months now. They're going to start off the new year pretty strong in April with a really big show, bringing in a lot of uh, a lot of people that have performed in WWE and TNA and, you know, have a little fan fest and some nostalgia going on along with the wrestling. Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling has three titles in circulation. Uh, the North American Championship is currently held by Anthony Toatelli. And the tag team champions are Marche Rocket and Acid Jazz, a tag team known as The Soul Touches. And their world champion is Drew Skills. Drew operates out of Indianapolis. He gets up here quite often. He's held the belt a couple of times. He's also active in other feds. Marche Rocket, uh, you've probably seen him in TNA. If you ever check that out, he's been appearing there more frequently. Pro Wrestling King, they run a show about every month. They operate more out of the South Bend area, although they have had a couple of shows in Valpo recently. Uh, They've operated at the Moose Lodge down on Indiana Avenue. They have three titles in circulation. Their tag team champs currently are the Spirit of Detroit. That's Cassidy and Jonte Keith. The Michiana online champion is Tony Thunder. And the Pro Wrestling King, Kingdom Heavyweight Champ, is Ames. He's fun to watch. Fire Pro Wrestling. They run shows out of Merrillville at Impact Christian Church. Those shows come up about every month, every couple of months. 
They have a tag team champion called team called Blackout, made of Mustafa and Drex Odell. Their current intercontinental champion is Greg Glover. He's one of my current favorites to watch. And their heavyweight champion is Jeremy Hadley. They also have an Impact Championship. Uh, they are currently holding a tournament to determine their Impact Champion. The quarterfinals were at Fire Pro Wrestling 129, and that was held in, uh, I think it was early December. So that champion will be named coming up in the new year. Adrenaline Ringside Wrestling, ARW Pro. Uh, they do shows in Lake Station. A lot of times they run at the American Legion there, and they uh, they jump into other locations as needed. Uh, they have four champions at the time. Their tag team champions are The Picture Show, Marcus Portrait, and Johnny Showtime. Their Indiana State champion is Colin Cambridge. Their Lionheart Division champion is Dakota Prodigy, and shout out to Dakota. He was here for an interview, and he sat and talked to us here at WVLP for half an hour back in November. That was a lot of fun. And the ARW champion is Mr. 3% John Hudson. As I interrupt this list, um, I'm rattling off a lot of names here, and if you haven't been to these shows, you're like, well, who, who are these people? These names don't mean anything. One of the ways uh, that I like to try to circulate information is by recording these little interludes that I do a couple times a month where I talk about wrestling and put them on YouTube as sort of a podcasty kind of thing. Um, I also have a web page. If you go to metalprofessor.com, you will find a link in my menu to NWI Rap. That is the Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program. Or you can go to metalprofessor.com slash NWI rap if you just want to type it in directly. And I'm going to put up there this list of current champions and put links to as many uh, matches that I can find on YouTube that will show uh, these people in action. And I can't promise that they will be matches from these particular feds uh, or showing them as the whatever champion they happen to be at the time but i will find some clips hopefully for most of these folks and put them up there so you can start putting faces to the names if you'd like to check that out so go to metalprofessor.com slash nwi rap and by the time uh, this show airs and repeats uh, that should be that list with some youtube links should be up there a lot of groups that operate in the north and northwestern Indiana area are based out of South Bend. Um, one of them is Revolution Championship Wrestling, RCW. They do shows in South Bend, Elkhart, uh, that Mishawaka, that, that area. Um, their tag team champs are the police department, Officer Rod Street and Deputy Dave, and that's Officer Rod Street's voice that you hear uh, during a little intro bit for this show. Their RCW US champion is Kevin Storm, and the heavyweight champion is Jack Thriller. Also operating in and around South Bend, mostly at the Century Center uh, in South Bend, is Strong Style Wrestling. They have one title at the moment. Uh, their world champion is Congo Kong, and he is a large, intimidating wrestler. He's, he's a lot of fun to watch, and he's very, uh, very agile for somebody of his size. He does moves off the rope. Um, not a whole lot of flippy stuff, but he gets, he gets height, he gets distance, and he's, he's a lot of fun. Um, he likes to beat people up, so I don't know if he'd like me saying he's a lot of fun to watch. But anyway, their world champion is Congo Kong. And in 2017, they will be crowning uh, a women's champion as well, but that hasn't happened yet. Now, at the end of the year, they had some internet polls going on for various uh, awards slash prizes slash namings uh, at the year end for Strong Style Wrestling. And so I'll run those down. Uh, it turns out that, based on fan voting, the most hated wrestler of the year is the police department, uh, Officer Rod Street and Deputy Dave. The female wrestler of the year associated with Strong Style is Heidi Loveless. And she's now signed to WWE and NXT, so good things for her coming up in the future, I hope. The most popular tag team of the year is Horror Show. 
Strong Styles' most popular wrestler of the year is the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. And the wrestler of the year, not to be confused with most popular wrestler of the year, is in fact their champion, Congo Kong. Going a little farther afield from northwest and northern Indiana, uh, out in Warsaw, you'll find Functified Wrestling. And I want to mention them because even though they operate a little bit farther away, it's like, what, an hour and 15 minutes to get to Warsaw from here. Um, a lot of the talent that they use are familiar names. And in fact, during this year and part of last, maybe, uh, Functified Wrestling and Smash Mouth right here in Valpo hold back-to-back -back events. So say one on Saturday in Warsaw and then one on Sunday in Valpo with a little continuity and featuring the same people. And when they bring in a bigger name, that person is able to go to both events. And so they do work with one of the much more immediately local groups. So I want to keep them in the loop. Uh, their tag champs are Jack Thriller and Chase Matthews. And yeah, that's the same Jack Thriller that you heard of in association with uh, RCW, Revolution Championship Wrestling. A lot of these folks uh, play around in multiple sandboxes. Their cruiserweight champ is Roger Lanier. And their world heavyweight champ is also Congo Kong. So that's your rundown of current title holders in a lot of the local groups. And, you know, here I thought I was getting a handle on all the local groups. And, you know, let me mention them again. Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling King, Fire Pro Wrestling, ARW Pro, RCW, that's Revolution Championship Wrestling, Strong Style Wrestling, Functified Wrestling. These are all groups that you want to know about if you're a wrestling fan in this area. And I thought I was getting a good handle on these. And, and I try not to look west too much because if I start trying to keep track of everything going on in Chicago or in the burbs of Chicago, my head would explode. Um, so there, there probably are some, you know, maybe Lake County area groups that I'm not particularly looking at here. Um, but, you know, Valpo and East is sort of what I'm what I'm thinking of. Uh, I thought I was getting a handle on all these groups. And then on Facebook, uh, just Earlier this week, I see a note or a post uh, for a group called New Dawn Pro Wrestling, and they're going to be running a show Friday, January 13th at Apple Road Theater in Osceola, Indiana. And so this is a new, a new name for a group that uh, I hadn't heard yet, but some of the names that are on their bill are pretty familiar. Um, what the heck, I'll run those down. So this is going to be Friday, January 13th. Uh, at Apple Road Theater in Osceola, Indiana. That's just south of South Bend. Um, the New Dawn Pro Wrestling Championship, uh, Ox Baker Jr. is currently the champ, and he will be taking on Preston Churchill. This is going to be an asylum chain match where the match can't end until one person can't continue. Uh, the tag team champs are the Elite, and they will be defending their champs, but it's a mystery as to who their opponents will be. And some of the also featured names are Chris Reigns, Noah Walker, Slim Trimmins, Theo Storm, and Jason the Terrible, and there will be more. Uh, showtime is 7 o'clock, and remember that time change if you go from Valpo East to go see a show. Um, tickets for adults will be 10 bucks. So that's what I learned this week from Facebook, is yet another group to keep track of. Oh, man. And at the end of the show here, I will uh, give you some ways that maybe you can, with along with me, try to keep track of some of the things that are going on. Now, after the start of the year, um, there are going to be some shows almost right away. Most of these groups wind down a little bit in December so everybody can have a break and enjoy the holidays. Uh, but then after that, starting in January, you'll see things fire back up. So, for example, Strong Style Wrestling. They're having a birthday bash Saturday, January 7th at the Century Center in South Bend. Um, their third anniversary is coming up, and so they're celebrating with an event uh, some names that you might know uh, from this group or beyond. Shane Douglas, the franchise Shane Douglas, is going to be the special guest at this event. Sugar Dunkerton will be there. There's a, a few matches already announced. Tag team match, Roscoe Eat Lisa, that is the name of a tag team, versus Guns and Aggression. Uh, you'll have Brother Reed versus Zachary Wentz from CZW coming in as a guest. And Brutus Dillon versus Drew Skills, uh, two, two big guys that apparently haven't had a match together yet, and that's going to be impressive. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Saturday, January 14th, 
uh, Functified Wrestling in Warsaw at the Kosciuszko County Fairgrounds. We'll be having New Year's Funk 3. And some of the announced events are Congo Kong versus Russ Jones versus Shane Mercer for the heavyweight championship. Uh, for the tag team championship, Jack Thriller and Chase Matthews versus the police department. And then for the cruiserweight championship, Roger Lanier versus J.D. Smooth. Also on November 14th, uh, ARW Pro will be doing a show in this area, uh, probably in Lake Station at the at the uh, American Legion there up on Central Avenue, I believe. And I don't know anything about the details of that. However, uh, tune back in here for our first Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program of 2017 on January 8th. Joey Boom Boom, the head honcho of ARW Pro, will be here to talk to us about what that group has planned in 2017 and maybe tell some stories about things that have gone on before. And so certainly by then we'll have a lot of information about that event. So that's that's what I know of in January so far is the Strong Style Birthday Bash Bash on January 7th in South Bend, uh, Functified Wrestling's New Year's Funk 3 on the 14th, um, an ARW Pro Show on the 14th. And then we get into February, and here is going to be a big one called When Worlds Collide 3. Uh, this is when Strong Style Wrestling, RCW, Revolution Championship Wrestling, and Pro Wrestling King all pile in for the same event. This is going to be at the Century Center in South Bend, and that is a great venue to watch a show because it's a tiered, it's almost like a big tiered classroom, except there's room for a press, uh, professional wrestling ring down at the bottom, and there's a stage and good sound, good sight lines. Uh, it's, it's a good place to be, and easy parking, although it does cost five bucks. So what's going on at When Worlds Collide 3? Uh, you've got a special general manager coming in, and it's Mr. Teddy Long from WWE fame. And some of the announced matches, one for the world title of Revolution Championship Wrestling. That'll be Jack Thriller versus Swoggle. Now, Swoggle is also known as Hornswoggle, also from WWE fame. For the Pro Wrestling King tag team titles, and see that's, that's part of this uh, combined show, you've got title matches from different, different groups around here on the same show. It'll be the Spirit of Detroit defending against the Full-Blooded Italians, FBI. And you might remember them from, uh, from ECW. Matt Cross versus Davey Richards. I am really looking forward to that. Matt Cross is also known as Son of Havoc from Lucha Underground. So that's going to be a good one. Um, other announced people coming in for the event. I don't know if they'll have matches or just be there as special guests. But uh, Angelina Love uh, from TNA. Rikishi is going to be there. Rikishi and uh, his, his uh, well, if you know Rikishi, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Joey Ryan, who is also known as Joey Ryan for Lucha Underground. Uh, Masquerita Sagrada from Lucha Underground. And Brian Christopher, uh, also from WWE fame. So that's gonna, that show is going to be loaded. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, that's Saturday, February 4th, Century Center, South Bend, Indiana. And then looking really, well, I don't want to call it long term, it is April, but it's going to be a really big show. Uh, and it's mostly set, and this is Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling Smash Fest. Now, this is intended to be not just a, you know, a night wrestling show, but it's also a fan fest sort of thing. And it's going to be at Inman's Recreation Center right here in Valpo, again, Saturday, April 8th. A lot of people coming in for this, and here's what's been announced so far. Uh, Tyson Ducks versus Anthony Toatelli for the North American title of Smash Mouth. Adam Rose coming in, and he's going to take on Mr. 3% John Hudson. Mordecai, also known as Kevin Thorne, will be taking on Lightning Bolt Johnson. DK from TNA, um, Abyss and Crazy Steve and Rosemary, and I don't think I pronounced that right. It's supposed to be like DK or something, but I'll just say DK versus the Midwest Monsters. That's Tank and Brutus Dillon, and that's in a Monsters Ball match, which means things like, I believe, tables and chairs will likely get involved. Maybe bowling balls, because it is at a bowling alley. It's at Rindman's Recreation Center. Chase Stevens will take on Colin Cambridge. Ryan Howe will take on the Mexicutioner, and there will be a Smash Mouth Heavyweight Championship title match. Drew Skills versus Sugar Dunkerton versus Troy Miller versus DJ Zima versus Will Huckabee 
And DJ Zima is DJ Z or Zima Ion from TNA. He's coming in to visit. So that'll be a five-way match for the Smash Mouth Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Colin Delaney versus Eric Wayne. And then a tag team match, Trevor Murdoch and Ames taking on J.C. Bunyan and Cody Diener. So that's loaded. And there's other people, I believe, coming in as guests who will likely not be wrestling. Oh, my goodness. There's more to announce for that because it was at the bottom of the page that I'm looking at. And I was like, wait, that's not it. That's not all the people I need to talk about. I remember Abdullah the Butcher is going to be there. So I scroll down and I see more matches listed on the next page for this. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe how big an event this is going to be? So how, how am I doing with my salesmanship here? Uh, so in, in addition to all the matches I just ran down, you'll also see Davey Richards versus Tony Cozina, Congo Kong and Abdullah the Butcher versus the Bambino family. Uh, De Soul Touches versus Legion, and that's Marche Rocket and uh, and Acid Jazz are the Soul Touchers. They'll be taking on Legion for the Smash Mouth Tag Team Championship. Rosemary from Decay versus Shauna Reed versus Angelina Love versus Jazz for in a four-way uh, female match. And there will be a 24-7 hardcore champion crowned. Not de no details yet as to how that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Now that is the end of the rundown for Smash Fest. See, it was so big I couldn't even fit it on a single page, and I had to go back and continue when I thought I was done. Now, how can you keep up with all of this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, spend a lot of time on Facebook. That's what I do. Or spend a lot of time on Twitter. Um, but I've, I've tried to do some things to help out. Again, that metalprofessor.com slash N-W-I-W-R-A-P, N-W-I rap. Uh, that web page is where I try to keep track of shows that are coming up and matches that have been announced. So you can go there and follow the menus for shows in 2017 to see this stuff coming up. I've also got an email for this show. It's nwirap at gmail.com. Feel free to drop me a note if you would like. And I've made a Google calendar associated with that email address. Again, nwirap at gmail.com. That email address and its calendar, you should be able to publicly access the calendar. And I try to load up these shows as I come, come across them. And so you can build a calendar of these shows into your own Google Gmail if you um, subscribe to that particular calendar. And I can't promise everything is there and I can't promise it's all right, but, you know, I do what I can. Um, I've also got a Twitter account for this show. It's NWI Rap. That's the Twitter handle. Um, I'm going to try to be more active there and, you know, retweet notifications of shows and put out tweets when I learn something that other people might want to know about. And then there's the NWI Rap YouTube channel where I put these broadcasts up uh, for you to listen to outside of the radio environment. Um, I've got, what, like six shows, six or seven of those already up from 2016 when I started doing this in August and September. Uh, some of those shows... Uh, they probably don't have a lot of timely information now because they're all about shows coming up that were back in 2016. But uh, I have two shows with interviews there. Uh, one is with Dakota Prodigy and one is with Jeremy Seabolt, uh, who runs Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling. So you can try to track those down. And again, coming up in a couple of weeks, Sunday, January 8th, the next broadcast of the Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program will feature Joey Boom Boom, the head man at ARW Pro, that's Adrenaline Ringside Wrestling out of Lake Station, and he'll tell us all about the shows that they have coming up. Uh, they try to run once a month, so there will be a lot of action to follow with that group. So I'm Ken the Metal Professor. Thanks for listening to me yap about wrestling. I hope it helped you if you're trying to get your head around some of the stuff going on. And again, if none of it made sense, go visit metalprofessor.com slash NWIRAP to see, uh, in words, this list of current champions at the end of 2016 for several of the groups that operate in this area and hopefully you will also find some youtube links there uh, that i should have up very soon if not already and i say that because i'm pre-recording this show it's christmas and it's my birthday and i'm not in the studio so that's my secret uh, but by the time this broadcasts on christmas night hopefully 
um, I will have put some YouTube links there so you can check out what some of these folks look like and put faces to names. So happy 2017. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry everything else you're celebrating. Go wrestling. Tables and chairs will likely get involved. Maybe bowling balls, because it is at a bowling alley. It's at Rindman's Recreation Center. Chase Stevens will take on Colin Cambridge. Ryan Howe will take on the Mexicutioner. And there will be a Smash Mouth Heavyweight Championship title match. Drew Skills versus Sugar Dunkerton versus Troy Miller versus DJ Zima versus Will Huckabee. And DJ Zima is DJ Z or Zima Ion from TNA. He's coming in to visit. So that'll be a five-way match for the Smash Mouth Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Colin Delaney versus Eric Wayne. And then a tag team match, Trevor Murdoch and Ames taking on J.C. Bunyan and Cody Diener. So that's loaded. And there's other people, I believe, coming in as guests who will likely not be wrestling. Oh, my goodness. There's more to announce for that because it was at the bottom of the page that I'm looking at. And I was like, wait, that's not it. That's not all the people I need to talk about. I remember Abdullah the Butcher is going to be there. So I scroll down and I see more matches listed on the next page for this. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe how big an event this is going to be? So how, how am I doing with my salesmanship here? Uh, so in, in addition to all the matches I just ran down, you'll also see Davey Richards versus Tony Cozina, Congo Kong and Abdullah the Butcher versus the Bambino family. Uh, De Soul Touches versus Legion, and that's Marche Rocket and uh, and Acid Jazz are the Soul Touchers. They'll be taking on Legion for the Smash Mouth Tag Team Championship. Rosemary from Decay versus Shauna Reed versus Angelina Love versus Jazz for in a four-way uh, female match. And there will be a 24-7 hardcore champion crowned. Not de no details yet as to how that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Now that is the end of the rundown for Smash Fest. See, it was so big I couldn't even fit it on a single page, and I had to go back and continue when I thought I was done. Now, how can you keep up with all of this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, spend a lot of time on Facebook. That's what I do. Or spend a lot of time on Twitter. Um, but I've, I've tried to do some things to help out. Again, that metalprofessor.com slash N-W-I-W-R-A-P, N-W-I rap. Uh, that web page is where I try to keep track of shows that are coming up and matches that have been announced. So you can go there and follow the menus for shows in 2017 to see this stuff coming up. I've also got an email for this show. It's N-W-I rap at gmail.com. Feel free to drop me a note if you would like. And I've made a Google calendar associated with that email address. Again, N-W-I-W-R-A-P at gmail.com. That email address and its calendar, you should be able to publicly access the calendar. And I try to load up these shows as I come, come across them. And so you can build a calendar of these shows into your own Google Gmail if you um, subscribe to that particular calendar. And I can't promise everything is there and I can't promise it's all right, but you know, I do what I can. Um, I've also got a Twitter account for this show. It's NWI Rap. That's the Twitter handle. Um, I'm going to try to be more active there and, you know, retweet notifications of shows and put out tweets when I learn something that other people might want to know about. And then there's the NWI Rap YouTube channel where I put these broadcasts up uh, for you to listen to outside of the radio environment. Um, I've got, what, like six shows, six or seven of those already up from 2016 when I started doing this in August and September. Uh, some of those shows, eh, they probably don't have a lot of timely information now because they're all about shows coming up that were back in 2016. But uh, I have two shows with interviews there. Uh, one is with Dakota Prodigy, and one is with Jeremy Seabolt, uh, who runs Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling. So you can try to track those down. And again, coming up in a couple of weeks, Sunday, January 8th, the next broadcast of the Northwest Indiana Wrestling Action Program will feature Joey Boom Boom 
the head man at ARW Pro. That's Adrenaline Ringside Wrestling out of Lake Station, and he'll tell us all about the shows that they have coming up. Uh, they try to run once a month, so there will be a lot of action to follow with that group. So I'm Ken the Metal Professor. Thanks for listening to me yap about wrestling. I hope it helped you if you're trying to get your head around some of the stuff going on. And again, if none of it made sense, go visit metalprofessor.com slash NWIRAP to see uh, in words this list of current champions at the end of 2016 for several of the groups that operate in this area and hopefully you will also find some youtube links there uh, that i should have up very soon if not already and i say that because i'm pre-recording this show it's christmas and it's my birthday and i'm not in the studio so that's my secret Uh, but by the time this broadcasts on christmas night hopefully um, i will have put some youtube links there so you can check out what some of these folks look like and put faces to names so happy 2017 happy new year merry christmas merry everything else you're celebrating go wrestling 8th the next broadcast of the northwest indiana wrestling action program will feature joey boom boom the head man at ARW Pro, that's Adrenaline Ringside Wrestling out of Lake Station, and he'll tell us all about the shows that they have coming up. Uh, They try to run once a month, so there will be a lot of action to follow with that group. So I'm Ken the Metal Professor. Thanks for listening to me yap about wrestling. I hope it helped you if you're trying to get your head around some of the stuff going on. And again, if none of it made sense, go visit metalprofessor.com slash NWIRAP to see uh, in words this list of current champions at the end of 2016 for several of the groups that operate in this area and hopefully you will also find some youtube links there uh, that i should have up very soon if not already and i say that because i'm pre-recording this show it's christmas and it's my birthday and i'm not in the studio so that's my secret Uh, but by the time this broadcasts on christmas night hopefully um, i will have put some youtube links there so you can check out what some of these folks look like and put faces to names so happy 2017 happy new year merry christmas merry everything else you're celebrating go wrestling on christmas night hopefully um, i will have put some youtube links there so you can check out what some of these folks look like and put faces to names so happy 2017 happy new year merry christmas merry everything else you're celebrating go wrestling go wrestling